In the contemporary crafting and textile industry, the allure of cost-effective options is paramount, particularly when it comes to specialized equipment like embroidery machines. The market, now more than ever, features an array of economical Chinese manufactured embroidery machines that grab the attention of budding entrepreneurs and veteran embroiderers alike. With just a quick scan of the web, an extensive selection of Chinese embroidery machine manufacturer surfaces, a mixed bag where some establish a credible reputation while others hover around the shadowy corners of legitimacy. These manufacturers are crafting machines that are often sold to the international market at a mere fraction of the price one would expect to pay for the likes of a Tajima machine, an established brand known for its exemplary standards in the embroidery realm. The surface-level appeal of these Chinese machines could be likened to stumbling upon a gold mine for crafters and small business owners. The potential for significant cost savings makes them immensely appealing, one could argue, almost too good to pass up for anyone with a keen eye for a bargain and a desire to enter the embroidery business without sinking a small fortune into startup costs. The Attractiveness of Low-Cost Chinese Embroidery Machines these Chinese embroidery machines come as a beacon of hope, promising similar functionalities as their pricier Tajima counterparts. They propose a straightforward pathway into the entrepreneurial world of commercial embroidery. Who wouldn't be swayed by the opportunity to obtain what seems like a comparable product at a fraction of the cost? The prospect of kickstarting a business or expanding production capabilities while keeping overheads low is undeniably tempting. It's a proposition that has enticed many into making what could arguably be seen as a leap of faith into the arms of economic pragmatism. Yet, those who leap might soon discover that all that glitters is not gold. The shiny new machine, gleaming with promise, may function seamlessly at the outset. Oddly enough, others may not be so lucky from the get-go, soon realizing the machines can be plagued with reliability issues that cause concern. Talking with peers in the industry will inevitably uncover stories of mixed experiences. Some machines soldier on for a time, while others succumb to malfunctions all too quickly. Unreliability and Repair Challenges of Cheap Chinese Embroidery Machines When it comes to the vexing issue of reliability, the performance of these Chinese embroidery machines can best be described as a gamble. Their predisposition to failure, when juxtaposed against their competitors, most notably those in the premium bracket, is concerning. This propensity for breakdown can often be attributed to a variety of factors, such as subpar components, lack of meticulous testing, and perhaps a deficit in stringent quality control methods during the manufacturing pipeline. The most troubling concern that arises from owning a cut-rate Chinese embroidery machine lies in the daunting task of finding repair services in the event of a malfunction. Embroidery machines, intricate by nature, require specialized knowledge for effective servicing and maintenance. However, this expertise is usually brand-specific, leaving Chinese machines in a predicament where professional repair options are scarce at best and non-existent at worst. This dearth of support leaves machine owners in a precarious position, scurrying for solutions, which could range from dabbling in self-repairs to scouring the depths of online forums in hopes of a serendipitous fix from someone who has navigated similar troubles. As owners navigate this terrain, they come to an unsettling realization that these machines, which cost them a solvent amount, are intrinsically perceived as dispensable. Given their economical price tags, the market treats them not as durable, long-lasting assets, but as short-term stopgaps, essentially consumer goods that serve their purpose before being unceremoniously replaced. This throwaway mentality is not only financially tedious in the long run, as the cycle of acquisition and disposal bears heavy on one's purse strings, but it also raises questions regarding sustainability and environmental responsibility. Reflecting on the perceived disposable nature of Chinese machines, the perceived disposability of these embroidery machines speaks volumes about the modern-day throwaway culture and begs a deeper examination of the long-term cost implications. Initially, the prospect of owning an embroidery machine for a fraction of the standard cost seems like a prudent business decision, but with time, the recurrent replacements may accumulate to a sum that's heftier than the cost of a single, more reliable unit from a trusted brand. The Dichotomy of Quality in Chinese Manufacturing 
Turning the focus towards the broader image of Chinese manufacturing, it's vital to acknowledge that China's role in the global production landscape is nothing short of phenomenal. Indeed, countless high-quality products, ones that have earned the trust and patronage of consumers worldwide, are manufactured on Chinese shores. These products are the results of the country's massive manufacturing infrastructure, coupled with the labor of diligent and skilled workers. These individuals often labor under conditions that may seem hyperbolic, copious hours for scant pay, and yet they contribute significantly to the output of quality goods. However, the complexity of Chinese manufacturing is encapsulated in the range of quality that can emerge from its factories. Consumers and businesses can commission products to be manufactured with a dramatic variance in cost and subsequently in quality. As an illustrative example, smartphones crafted in China can be ordered at a manufacturing cost of $100 per unit or at a significantly reduced figure, say $10 per unit. The stark price difference would result in two smartphones that might look similar on the outside but have wildly different internals and overall life expectancy. The less expensive option inevitably entails compromises in materials, workmanship, and technological prowess, all areas where savings must be realized to hit that lower price point. The disparity in quality illustrates that not all products are created equal and aligning expectations with the price becomes a critical exercise. Strategies for Navigating the Chinese Embroidery Machine Market Prospective buyers of Chinese embroidery machines must, therefore, approach these transactions armed with a blend of skepticism and strategic thinking. It's paramount to carry out comprehensive research into the viability and reputation of the manufacturers, the availability of replacement parts, and the extent of after-sales support. Flouting due diligence could result in a purchase decision riddled with regret and unanticipated expenses. Financial attractions aside, one must ponder the ramifications of opting for a low-cost option versus investing in a proven, reputable brand that carries with it a higher initial cost but a more reliable and sustained operational lifespan. It's essential for an entrepreneur or hobbyist to reckon with the plethora of elements that surround the decision to purchase a more affordable Chinese embroidery machine. Considerations must extend beyond the upfront savings and delve into aspects such as the longevity of the machine, potential downtime due to repairs, and the willingness to engage in personal troubleshooting endeavors or to accept the notion of a machine as a short-term solution rather than a durable asset. For those who ultimately decide to venture down the path of acquiring a Chinese embroidery machine, preparing for the road ahead involves setting realistic expectations, earmarking funds for possible replacements, and possibly nurturing a hands-on approach to maintenance and repair. Embroidery enthusiasts and business owners alike must balance their desire for savings against the value of dependability and service guarantees. In summary, the Chinese embroidery machine market is one marked by affordability, accessibility, but also unpredictability. By considering the full scope of what it means to own such a machine, one can make a more informed, calculated decision that takes into account not only the initial purchase cost but the overarching implications for their business or hobby. The key to a satisfactory outcome may well lie in the careful balancing of economic benefits against the desire for a trustworthy, enduring embroidery companion. If you enjoyed this video, then please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and consider subscribing to the channel. Embracraft has an embroidery design store on Etsy. If you need any designs for your next project, you'll find a link to the store in the video description. Thanks for watching.